hello, welcome to class, or welcome to class if you're seeing this in the future. We're going to go ahead and get started with our 45 minute practice today by coming into a meditation on our backs. So we will come down, knees up to the sky. Once you find a comfortable position, we'll walk the, the feet back towards the hips and then heel toe, heel toe the feet as wide as the yoga mat, letting the knees fall in towards each other. Let's take the hands nice and wide and flip the palms up towards the ceiling. Closing the eyes, start to tap into the belly, the breath. the belly grow nice and heavy, the shoulders start to sink closer to the earth, Take notice of your breath today. Does it feel easy and natural and full? Or maybe it's a little bit more challenging and shallow, asking more of an effort from you. There's no right answer, we're just observing. Bring your attention now to how the body moves and stretches on the inhale. And where it softens and releases on the exhale. If you haven't already, we notice and observe any sensations in the body, any reactions to thoughts, any areas of tension or pain, 
that are calling out for our attention. We just came off of a weekend, so maybe he picked up some mm, soreness and tension along the way. Hey, maybe you did a lot of walking on Friday. One more big inhale. And on the exhale, with the eyes staying closed, we'll heel toe, heel toe the feet back in line with the hips and then moving right on through that line until the arches kiss together, the toes kiss together, heels come together and we let the knees splay open naturally. Belly grows nice and heavy here. We feel the low back making contact with the mat. Do you feel any pinching, pulling, uncomfortable sensation in the inner thigh, the groin? And you can always bring some blocks or pillows to the outside of the thighs, or you can ball up your fist and bring it pinky side to the mat, right to the outside of the thigh, right at the glute for a little extra support. We're here for three more breath cycles. Last one. And at the bottom of your exhale, we'll bring the palms to the outside of the legs, gently guiding the knees back together. Right knee lifts towards the chest. We catch the front of the right knee with the right hand. Left leg can stay knee elevated towards the sky or pointing up to the sky, or we can lower it straight towards the front of the mat. With right hand on the right knee, we're gonna drop the right knee over to the right side of the mat. And then knee swings down towards the front of the mat, coming back through the midline. So just taking knee circles here range of motion in the hips. Find your movement and then bring your attention to the left side. Is the left hip trying to come up? If it is, maybe we place a hand there or maybe we bring the sole of the foot and elevate the knee, point it back up to the sky. The next time the knee is towards the chest, we'll pause taking a circle in the opposite direction. Toes can be flexed towards the shin or pointed. Noticing how you are incorporating the center, your abdomen. Let's do one more circle. When you're at the top, we'll pause. Both hands come to the front of the right shin as we squeeze right knee to right shoulder. Big inhale. 
On the exhale, left hand guides right knee across the midline over to the left side of the mat. Right shoulder stays pinned down to the mat. One more inhale, exhale, belly button to spine, draws you back through center. We release the right foot down to bring the left knee up. Left hand comes to the front of the left knee as we take our hip rotations on this side. Right leg is straight or bent. Left knee falls out to the side before swinging back through center. Noticing how this side feels different. If you can hear my hip popping, that is a difference for me. Noticing your abdomen, your center engagement here. Belly's nice and heavy, keeping you in good alignment. Next time the knee is up towards the chest, we'll pause, taking it in the opposite direction. So falling through the midline first before swinging to the outside of the mat. And again, noticing even how the opposite movement, the opposite direction feels different. Next time you're at the top of your circle, knee to chest, we grab the left shin with both hands as we squeeze left knee to left shoulder. One more inhale. Exhale, right hand guides left knee across the midline over to the right side of the mat. One more inhale, exhale, belly button to spine, draws you back through center. We draw the right knee up to meet the left, taking one moment to squeeze knee to chest. Belly's heavy. Exhale, we release the fingers and shine both soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. We're going to do some spinal rolls until we get up to you. Our seated position. So first heels kick up towards the ceiling, rolling right on through, sitting up nice and tall when you get there. We're going to roll back down on your exhale. Inhale, legs kick. Last one, exhale sends you down. Inhale to kick. Momentum sounds you right up to a seated position. We're going to roll right through the ankles coming into our tabletop position. Unless that's uncomfortable, then you can swing the legs off to the side and meet us in tabletop that way. When we get there, setting ourselves up for success, shoulders are right above the wrists, knees are right underneath the hips. We're gonna bump hips over to the left, the gaze comes over past the right. Exhale through center, hips come over to the right, gaze is over to the left. 
Exhale through center, hips to left. Exhale through center, hips over to the right. And for the next several breath cycles, we'll close the eyes, coming back through center, finding some nice organic movement. So maybe that is taking hip circles, full hip circles. Maybe it's continuing to bump the hips one way and then the other. Maybe you start incorporating the neck. Some easy spinal movement here, closing the eyes so that we can listen to what the body is wanting from us. Mm, then we'll come back to center to inhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, open the chest, gaze this forward. Exhale, we round through, drawing belly button to, or excuse me, tail to belly button, pressing away from the mat, crown shines down to the earth. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, we round through. One last time, inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, we round through. Inhale brings us back to tabletop position. So neutral spine. Right leg is going to kick out to our side. So leg is perpendicular with the long edge of the mat. Toes are pointing towards the front of the mat. We inhale, swinging the right arm up towards the ceiling. We pause. Big inhale, exhale, palm to mat. As we're keeping the leg straight, we sweep the toes to the back edge of the mat and then pivot on the back side edge of the foot. Toes are now pointing towards the right side of the mat. You can draw the left foot off the left side of the mat just slightly if you need a little bit more balance as we lift the right arm up towards the ceiling. We're not squeezing the glutes, but we're active in the glutes in order to draw the pelvis in line with the knees. Big inhale. Exhale, we float the fingers towards the front edge of the mat, bicep is by the ear. Big side body stretch. Big inhale. Exhale, hand to earth as we pivot and come back to our tabletop position. Exhale, left leg comes out long. We inhale, left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Maybe you shine the chest a little closer to the ceiling. Exhale, hand to earth as we sweep that left leg behind us and then pivoting on the back foot, toes open up towards the left. Left arm comes back up to the ceiling, pelvis draws in line with the knees. We're pressing into the right fingertips, pressing away from the mat, so we're lifting out of the shoulder joint. Exhale, fingertips towards the front edge of the mat, bicep by the ears. Exhale, hand to earth as we rotate and pivot, coming back to tabletop. Inhale, right arm swings out to the side. Exhale, right arm comes back through the midline underneath the left shoulder, dropping onto the right shoulder, right ear. Thread the needle pose. Left arm can be wherever it's most comfortable, maybe reaching out towards the front of the mat. Maybe the palm is right by the face, squaring off at the elbow. Maybe you take a bind, wrapping the left arm around the low back, left hand comes to the top of the right thigh. Maybe you play around with all of those options before you find the one that works for you. Keep the hips right over the knees today. 
So you might need to give a little pressure through the tops of the feet. One more big inhale. Exhale, we use the left hand to press us back up. Ooh, coming back to table. Taking it to the other side, we inhale, left arm swings out. Exhale, left arm drops through the midline underneath the right shoulder as we drop onto the left shoulder, left ear. Finding the placement with our right hand on the side. Noticing what may feel different. Exhale, presses you back up to table. Big toes come together, knees as wide as the yoga mat. We sink the hips back, belly, chest, forehead melts down to the earth. Extended child's pose. Big inhale. Exhale, we press into the tops of the feet, drawing ourselves back up to tabletop position. Knees come up underneath the hips. We curl the toes. Stay here for the inhale. Exhale, we send the hips up high for downward facing dog. Taking a moment to pedal it out if you need to. Maybe shaking the hips from side to side. We're here for two more breath cycles. And after your next exhale, we make our way to the top of the mat. When you get there, we forward fold, letting the head hang. It's either clasp opposite elbow or maybe resting the top of one hand and the palm of the other, cupping them right underneath the crown. Maybe we take some gentle sways. One more breath cycle here, bending the knees as much as you need to. And then inhale, we slowly root to rise, roll our way up to mountain. Arms come with us wide up overhead, palms kiss together. And then palms flip externally, dropping down by the hips and then fingers interlace behind us at the tail. We loop the shoulders, drawing the fingers down towards the earth, chest is wide open. Big inhale, exhale, we bend the knees, bend at the hips, coming down into our forward fold. At the same time, we're lifting the hands, the fingers away from the body. Crown drops towards the earth, big inhale. Exhale gently, we release the hands, letting them float down to the feet before rolling our way back up to mountain. Arms come with us up overhead, palms kiss together. 
and then palms flip externally to float down by the hips, opposite thumb on top this time as we interlace the fingers, rolling the shoulders, drawing the fingers down away towards the earth. Exhale, we start to fold. We lift in the fingers, opening the chest. Exhale, gently we release, letting the hands float down to the feet. Inhale, lift you halfway. Exhale, fold, palms come down to the mat. We make our way to plank. Inhale for in plank for two breath cycles. At the bottom of your exhale, we drop just the knees, toes stay curled against the mat, hips stay elevated as we drop the chest in between the thumbs, chin kisses down to the earth. Elbows are tight to the side body. Big inhale. Exhale, we flip the feet, drop the pelvis, press into the hands, lifting the chest and the gaze, cobra. Exhale, lower, forehead kisses. Inhale for toes curl. Exhale, pressing up to tabletop or plank before sending the hips up to downward facing dog. Big inhale. Exhale, steps you up. Deep to hands, inhale, roots arise, rolls you up to mountain, arms come up overhead, palms kiss together, and descend at the heart space. Inhale, palms stay together as hands reach up overhead, and then palms flip externally to float down by the hips, and we go again, interlacing the fingers behind the body at the tail, we loop the shoulders, drawing the fingers down towards the earth. Exhale, bending at the hips. We start to dive, chest open into our forward fold. Fingers reach away from us. Crown shines down to the earth, big inhale. Exhale, gently release, letting the hands float with control down to the feet, rolling your way back up to mountain. Arms come with you up overhead, palms kiss together. And then flip externally to float down by the hips, opposite thumb on top this time. We loop the shoulders, drawing the fingers down towards the earth. Big inhale, exhale, we dive forward. Inhale, exhale gently, we release, letting the fingers float down to the feet. Inhale, lifts you halfway. Exhale, fold, palms come down to the mat, making your way to plank. We're in plank for two breath cycles, big inhale, slow exhale, gaze is straight down, belly's engaged. The bottom of your exhale, we keep the toes curled, drop the knees, hips stay elevated as we drop the chest right in between the thumbs, elbows are tight to the side body, chin kisses the earth, gaze is forward. Exhale, we flip the feet, drop the pelvis, press our way up to Cobra. Exhale, fold, forehead kisses. Inhale, lifts you. Exhale, hips up high to downward facing dog. Your next exhale, we make our way to the top of the mat. And root to rise on the inhale, rolling our way up to mountain. Palms come with us up overhead, kissing together and descending at the heart space for one breath cycle. Arms go down to come up. Palms kiss together and then flip externally, interlace fingers at the tail. Loop the shoulders. Chest is open. Exhale, we fold. Exhale, slow release of the hands with control, letting them float down to the feet before rolling your way back up to mountain. Wide V, arms come with us up overhead, palms kiss together, then flip externally to float down at the hips, opposite thumb on top this time. Loop the shoulders on the inhale. 
exhale, fold. Exhale, slow release with control, letting the hands float down to the feet. Inhale, lifts you halfway. Exhale, fold, hands come down to plank. Left foot back, right foot back. Exhale, knees drop, chest aims for right in between the thumbs, keeping the hips elevated, chin kisses down to the earth. Exhale, we flip the feet, pelvis drops, cobra. Exhale, fold, forehead kisses. Exhale, presses you up to tabletop or plank, then make your way to downward facing dog. This time we inhale, right leg lifts up high, three-legged dog. Heel drops to hip. We open the front body, the torso, pelvis, chest over to the right side of the mat. Right toes are reaching over to the left. Both arms are long and straight. Big inhale. Exhale, we step that right foot up in between the hands. If you need to help it get there, that's okay. We drop the back knee. Pausing in our low lunge if it feels that you need to take some gentle rocking movements. That would be fine, otherwise we'll find some stillness. One more inhale. Exhale, left hand drops down by the right arch. We swing the right arm open towards the ceiling. Exhale, right hand replaces left as we open left arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, left hand replaces right as we frame the foot. We curl the toes under just for a little extra stability. We're lifting the hips up and over this imaginary midline as we start to draw the right toes towards the ceiling. Maybe you straighten that right leg, maybe you keep a deep bend in that right knee. But either way, we're drawing the toes up towards the ceiling. Gaze is either forward, paying attention to the alignment of the spine, long line from crown to tail. Or maybe we bow forehead towards the body, towards the knee. Exhale, we roll through. Pressing into the front foot, we rise. Both hands come up to the top of the right thigh. Stay here if this feels good. Option to practice with balance by lifting the back heel to the back or to the, excuse me, left hip. Maybe you reach around making contact with the foot. Hips and shoulders stay squared off to the front of the mat. So we're either here here or here. Exhale. We release back to our low lunge, back knee lifts as we draw the right foot back to meet the left and downward facing dog, pausing for a breath cycle. Inhale, left leg lifts three-legged dog. Exhale, we drop heel to hip, opening the front body over to the left side of the mat. Exhale, we step the left foot up in between the hands, dropping the back knee. We pause in our low lunge.
invite you here to close the eyes. Noticing what you can feel when you take away one of our senses. Big inhale. Exhale, right hand drops to left arch as we reach left arm up towards the ceiling. Pressing down firm through our foundation, so top of the back foot, bottom of the front foot. Fingertips in the front hand. Exhale, left hand replaces the right as we open right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, right hand replaces the left as we frame the foot, curl the toe, if that, the back toes, if that feels comfortable as we lift the hips up and back, bringing the toes up towards the ceiling. Maybe bow forehead to the body. Exhale, rolls you through center. We press into the front foot to rise. Both palms come to the top of the thigh. Lifting in the chest, growing tall in the spine. Attempting to keep the hips even so we don't have one lower than the other. We stay here or maybe we lift right heel to right glute. Maybe we even attempt to make contact hand to foot, exaggerating the stretch in the front of the right hip. One more inhale. Exhale, hands come to frame the foot. We lift the back knee, drawing the left foot back to meet the right, pausing in downward facing dog. Big inhale. Exhale, we draw up on the toes before dropping the knees to the mat right underneath the hips. Drop the belly, open the chest, tail lifts, gazes forward. Exhale, we round through, really pressing away from the yoga mat, adjusting your hands if you need to. On the exhale, we start to walk the hands back towards the knees. When they get right in front of the knees, we tuck the tail rolling. Moon pose, arms come up wide overhead, wide V. Just like we did in our side body stretch at the beginning of practice, we draw the pelvis in line with the hips. We're lifting out of the tail, lifting light in the chest so we're not compressing the low back glutes are active but we're not squeezing shoulders drop down away from the ears big inhale exhale abdomen engages as we slowly with chest staying open start to send the hips towards the heels chest is open open as we start to draw the belly towards the tops of the thighs before letting the hands fall to the mat, forehead to the mat, prayer position. Palms are nice and wide. Crawl the hands out just a little closer towards the front of the mat as we inhale. Exhale, we press into the tops of the feet, 
tuck the tail. We start to roll up like we're going to move into table. Shoulders come up over the wrists and we drop the tops of the thighs and the pelvis to the mat. Arms stay straight. Gaze comes forward. High cobra. We're active in the knees, pressing down through the tops of the thighs, the knees, the tops of the feet. Big inhale. Exhale, we gently lower, elbows stay tight to the side body, all the way down, forehead comes to the earth. Adjust on your mat if you need to, maybe you got a little too close to the edge. And then let's draw the hands underneath the, underneath the forehead, taking just a moment of rest. One more breath cycle. After your exhale, we're gonna draw the right arm out wide at our side, palm face down, so elbows straight. Left arm comes off the left side of the mat, bent at the elbow, 90 degree angle, we're up on the fingertips. Inhale, exhale, we press into the left hand, opening the left side of the chest over towards the left side of the mat. So right shoulder, right pectoral, right breastbone is connected to the earth, left side is lifted. Exhale, release, forehead back down to the mat, we center just for a breath. Inhale. Exhale, we're going again, but this time we lift the left leg, press into the left hand, bending at the left knee, we draw the left toes over to the right side of the mat. Do what you can, meet your body where it's at today. You don't have to look like me, just as I don't need to look like you. Exhale, we round back through to center, releasing, dropping the hands by the head just for a moment before taking it to the other side. So left arm comes out wide. Right arm bends at the elbow up on the fingertips off the right side of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, we press into the right fingertips, lifting the right side of the chest off the earth. At this point, both hips are still in contact with the mat, the front of the hips. Exhale, lower forehead back down to the earth. Inhale, we lift the right leg. Exhale, pressing into the right fingertips, we start to draw the left leg, or excuse me, the right leg over off the left side of the mat. Exhale, slowly release. Once you get there, we'll draw both palms stacked over each other underneath the forehead once again, taking a few minutes, few moments in Shavasana. Reverse Shavasana. This isn't comfortable, you can always drop just the side of the face down to the mat, arms wide at your side. Or maybe if you have a pillow or a blanket close that you'd like to rest the head on, that'd be great. Feel free to stay here as long as you are able today. Maybe that's an extra 30 seconds. Maybe you have a whole 10 minutes that you can spend here. 
So do whatever fits for you and your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank yourself for showing up. And I will see you next time.